Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Thank you so much for clicking the video. I'm Iris and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. And today, we have this new deck up in here. It is the Electro Furnace. And uh, these two guys over here, that's a real big cause that you actually are going to read in this deck itself. So, it's a pretty simple deck. Let's just get right into it. But before that, make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel Pride Clash of Clans or Clash of content every single day. Make sure you click on the bell notification icon if you are subscribing because you don't want to miss any of my new videos so that you'd get updated as to any of the content that I actually put. So, yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay, so uh, it's pretty simple. We messed up a level 10 guy, and it's pretty nice to see that. So we're gonna start over with the miner, and uh, we're gonna get ready with the zap because they might have the skeleton army, which pretty much most of them would probably have. And we're gonna zap that. Uh, uh, what is that? Some troop, uh, the Inferno Dragon, to make sure that we're actually not letting it do some. Uh, uh, what is that concentrated damage to the miner over there But then we're gonna put in the fire spirits to deal with that and the fire spirits are actually gonna do a lot of damage And I would recommend you have a really good fire spirit level uh, Which I'd say would be level 10 if you're level 10 It would be level 11 if you're level 11 and something like that So that is the thing you actually have to keep in mind now You have to again keep in mind you're actually gonna use the rocket as much as possible Because you're not gonna make sure uh, that the only troop you can actually get damage is the miner and the lumberjack. The electro visit pretty much will probably make it till that. It probably will defend it some or the other way. So the only way for you to actually do that extra bit of damage is by the rocket. So that is something you have to, have to keep in mind. And uh, this one was kind of hard to be honest. He had uh, put in so many units that actually would do a lot of damage all by themselves. So I put in the miner over here to actually uh, get them right in over there into the core. But then the... Uh, the what was that the miner was dead within no time i'm gonna pull him down again but then the fire spirit actually died and it's pretty much over at this point you see uh the uh what is that the giant bomb actually came up over here to do some massive amount of damage so he brought the damage from all the way to 2700 to 1600 that was just massive now the fact that i know he has the uh, uh what is the the giant skeleton i'm not gonna risk it i'm gonna defend much better so uh, i'm gonna put in the furnace over here not to make sure that i'm actually wasting up my elixir and the opponent is ready with the witch i don't know what he's actually gonna do but then my furnace level 7 isn't actually in a position to hit uh, the level 10 guys tower that's kind of disappointing but then we're just gonna rocket it because we have so much elixir and we just cannot waste the elixirs and uh, put in the miner over there as well to do the extra damage and again this guy is coming up from here and this time we're gonna defend and you just see how's that gonna happen because uh, we're just gonna zap this down and make sure we're actually doing some damage over here you're gonna put in the miner again but then oh my goodness I didn't defend this time as well but then this guy actually switched over the lane and that is something that he actually shouldn't have actually done the tower would have probably been out and that is something that he actually did really long I mean really wrong as far as I'm concerned, he actually should have gone towards the same side. That probably would have been a good option. But then he actually didn't. He actually will be getting paid over here. So I'm not going to rocket the witch. I'm least bothered about that because I just want to finish this battle off. I'm going to put the miner. And nine more seconds. He's thinking he can do that. But then it's up over there. Up in the top. The miner actually did some damage. Three more seconds. And nothing's going to happen, buddy. It's pretty much game over and we got the lead so just the minute, minute mistakes you do are gonna cost you so in for another replay again the same strategy pretty much the same uh, strategy you actually have to use over here uh, it's pretty simple put in the miner if you have it up in first if you have the lumberjack and the fire spirit put in the lumberjack put in the fire spirit if you have the lumberjack all alone then you might have the zap make sure you're using that and the lumberjack and uh, I don't know if you're actually getting something else, maybe the rocket and the opponent is putting in something like maybe a witch just behind the tower. Make sure you're timing it well and make sure you're doing some damage over there. That should pretty much do it. So again, you just see the fire spirits that they're in rage. They'll just go nuts. Even the electro wizard, if he's on rage, you probably do a lot of damage and that's why the lumberjack is going to come in really handy. He actually helps a lot when it comes to the miner as well. As soon as you drop in the... Uh, the lumberjack if you actually drop in the miner then you can just see the miner doing some crazy bit of damage because he is really good over there so he's coming up 
with minion ward, we pretty much have a counter for that. You're gonna put in the furnace and deal with that. So it's not gonna be a big problem. The furnace, as soon as you drop it, you're just gonna drop in those uh, five spirits, and it pretty much did the damage over there. You're gonna put in the lumberjack and do some damage to the wall creep, and the wall creep is gonna go down for sure. I'm gonna get ready with my five spirits, put that down, and. Uh, if you're not gonna pretty much take it down because the visit is gonna do area splash and he pretty much dealt with it really easily we're gonna zap it down over here and we're gonna put in the mega minion now the opener is gonna drop in the raid and that is something he actually absolutely did it wrong and he pretty much wasted two elixir completely unnecessary he actually thought I, pretty, I probably don't have any elixir at all but then that was a wrong prediction and pretty much got paid for that so he's actually using the miner again in the wrong way unless it's really important you don't have to drop the miner just like he did uh, the last case if you actually saw what I did with the miner that was completely un unavoidable because we need something we need someone who actually does so much damage and I mean so much hit points and the only guy in my deck who has a massive amount of hit points apart from the lumberjack is the miner itself and definitely that's the only way I actually can use him so I'm gonna switch back to the rockets and the rockets are hopefully gonna take at least one of these uh, musketeers he actually does and that was really nice so I'm gonna put in the miner over here defend for a second put in the fire spirits and make sure you're not dropping in the fire spirits right in front of the bridge because they're just gonna die within no time by the time they're actually gonna spawn in they're just gonna be dead so the musketeers you could just see did some massive amount of damage I don't know why but then they had just a little bit amount of health but then they still did it and that is something I absolutely don't like at all and uh, we're pretty much good over here we just need 383 and we're gonna put in the rocket at this point and just deal with that because I probably shouldn't go with the rocket because he has put in the minion horde again timing is the key you actually have to be patient if you're actually in a hurry you probably will face that and actually have to face the consequences so don't do that the lumberjack did it anyways but then we have the rocket just in case and that is how you probably get the victory so that is you can just see is the deck itself it's really simple just make sure you're not overdoing stuff if there's something like a really important thing that is when you actually have to put in the miner apart from that just don't drop him wherever you want him because he's not for that he's actually to do the chip damage and this deck over here is solely to do chip damage these two just uh, the one slams that they actually give for the tower is more than enough you can actually deal with the rockets up in here so that is something you actually have to keep in mind there's no big win condition apart from nothing maybe just the rocket over here so that is something you actually have to keep in mind it's really simple to actually use this uh, uh, deck it's really awesome as well so make sure you're cycling up the rockets rockets are really gonna come in handy to be honest they're really cool and yeah thank you so much for watching till the very end I'm Iris and I'll be seeing you next time and then goodbye